Hey everybody, this is Alex from KeenOnTheMarket.com with your end of day recap. Andrew had to run and get on a plane because he's going to New York to host Bloomberg's afternoon show tomorrow. So I thought I would take uh, a chance to do the video and look at it from a little bit more in-depth technical point of view. I want to really only really talk about the S&P. I think there's a lot of really good signals right now. And for those of you who follow the charts, I think this is a pretty good uh, time to really talk about what's going on. So we were talking about in our video series on the 29th, it really looked like a bull trap. And why do I say this? Even though we did technically have a buy signal, you could see these arrows automatically populate on our proprietary signal system. To me, this looked like a bull trap. One reason is because we were actually breaking out of a bearish equilibrium section. So the market was kind of in flux or in an imbalance at this point. So I really didn't feel like we were going to break through this and make any follow up to the upside. You could see there wasn't much follow through. And in this zone, there was a ton of overbought signals going on in the different uh, technical indicators. Additionally, I also wanted to point out some of these Ichimoku cloud signals that are pretty much about to happen. We have since traded back down into the cloud, which I consider to be bearish slash neutral territory. We're getting really close to going into the sell territory. One thing that happened is we broke this upward trend line that was here on the daily time frame, and we actually closed beneath this decreasing trend line. So we're actually breaking these linear trend lines that were holding as support and now going forward they're potentially going to act as resistance. Another thing I want to point out that no one really talks about with Ichimoku clouds is the Chiku spot. So right here you can see this black line I've actually made a little thicker for the video. The fact that this black line is beneath the clouded area tells me that the longer term momentum, so the three, three month time frame momentum is actually quite bearish. If this Chiku spawn actually does start to trade beneath the actual price, it'll actually become even more bearish. So the momentum, even though it was kind of a bullish trap right here, it won't take too much for the price momentum to drag down a lot of these indicators to be even more in a sell uh, stance. In the interim, I also want to talk about another signal. Uh, I actually follow the ADX signal very, very closely. And you can see right here we were setting up for a sell yesterday. And today we actually got the confirmed sell signal. So I use the ADX and DMI lines very, uh, very much in most of our, you know, analysis, technical analysis and trading. And today is very much a sell signal. Since we are not below the cloud in the bearish territory, I will not be taking the sell signal, but I will be patiently waiting for it to close beneath this red zone. As far as targets, I'm measuring the top here on the 5th and the bottom here on the 26th and going for a pretty, to me, attainable target down here at the 1618, back slightly below the lows of June 4th at 1258. This will be the trade. This is setting up. I want to call it before it happens. If it doesn't get that signal, which I will walk through how I'm going to trade this in the next video, then we probably won't take it. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about the ES Mini and daily time frame and how it's setting up. I want to let you guys know that we are doing another webinar. We had such good feedback from last Sunday. We had a lot of people with positive things to say, positive feedback. Even people that didn't actually attend the live webinar who watched the recording and saw the slides, I think really learned a lot about Andrew's thought process for trading earnings with options. So we are having another one this Sunday. And originally it was going to be the same uh, as far as being a premium paid webinar. But our friends at Lido Isle Advisors have decided to sponsor the event. They're close friends of me, mine and Andrew's. So we're going to have that event free for everybody. So we would really like you to invite anybody who you would think would benefit from this knowledge or anybody who's really beginning to trade options. This is a very important subject to understand. Volatility, measure move targets, 
catalyst events, neutral strategies, using option strategies. This is very important. So if you really want to get and reserve your seats, we do have limited spots. Uh, please email sales at keenonthemarket.com and we will make sure to put you in for a reservation. This is Alex signing off for today. I'll run it back tomorrow. You can follow me at AlexKOTM. Thanks, guys.